Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. A head mathematics teacher at an elite school has been given jail time after admitting to horrific child sex offenses. Robert Messina, 51, has been jailed for two years and four months, with possible parole after 14 months, for offenses that included encouraging a man to sexually abuse a six-year-old boy. With time already served, Messina could be eligible for parole in January 2025, the West Australian reported. The teacher was fired following his arrest at John Septimus Row Anglican Community School in Mirabuka, north of Perth, in late November 2023. Messina's decades-long teaching career saw him work at many of Perth's top schools, including Guildford Grammar School in the early 2000s. But the well-respected teacher's career came crashing down when he was arrested and charged with possessing, producing and distributing child exploitation material. Messina's arrest came after Western Australia Police's Child Exploitation Operations team found an online predator who was communicating under two online names, Bastion and Old Boy Messi. Both online handles belonged to Messina. Police posed as a 12-year-old boy on Snapchat, where Messina told him straight away that he was a teacher. Messina also said, I love boys. The chats allegedly occurred while the teacher was working at his school, including messages that he wanted to kiss the boy and show him his genitals. Police seized the former teacher's devices, including two Samsung mobile phones, and found even more material. The further evidence included two dozen child pornography images, as well as six graphic videos. There were also explicit text conversations in the phone data, with Messina communicating with a man and another person posing as a child. Police believe another conversation was with a young boy. While Messina was texting a man who called himself Sam, the men both discussed a six-year-old boy who Sam was caring for. Messina encouraged him to touch the six-year-old as well as look at his genitals and asked Sam to describe how he felt. The teacher added, you are looking after him and you need a reward. Other conversations Messina had included the description of sex acts and pictures of both children and adults. In another conversation, the disgraced former teacher referred to himself as Pops. The married father pleaded guilty to eight charges on his second appearance in court. Messina again appeared in court on Tuesday and cried when his offenses were detailed. District Court Judge Laura Christian was informed that for months the ex-teacher told report writers he was adamant he did not have a sexual desire for children. But Messina changed that stance last week, with his lawyer Mark Andrews saying his turnaround happened after a candid and honest discussion. Albeit belatedly, he admits his offending was driven and motivated by an interest in young boys, a deviant sexual interest, Mr. Andrews said. Mr. Andrews said Messina's interest in young boys existed since childhood, saying the former teacher had a repressed upbringing due to a strict Italian upbringing. Messina's lawyer also said that the married father had experienced triggers, such as worrying about his job and health which meant that in late 2023 the walls effectively started to close around him. He escaped into this surreal world, and the wheels really did start to fall off, Mr. Andrews said. Messina also said his love for his wife and children was authentic and through references, his family informed the court they still support him. The court also heard that during Messina's long career, there had never been any complaints made against him for inappropriate behavior. This was also backed up by the statement Messina's school released at the time of his arrest. Messina also insisted he did not join the teaching profession to be close to children. But prosecutor Matthew Thompson said Messina had used his status as a teacher to build trust with children he believed he was communicating with, making him a serious predator. He brandished himself as someone who can be trusted. Mr. Thompson said, the case against him was overwhelming, the material was on the devices. And the loss of his profession is entirely a consequence of his own actions. And inconsistent with the privilege of being a teacher.